Hello everybody and welcome back. I am here today to show you a fun painting technique using white vinegar, baking soda, watercolor. If you don't have any watercolors at home, you can use food coloring. You're going to need some paint brushes depending on how many colors you want. You're going to need cups to put it all in. You're going to need a dropper or a pipette for the vinegar. You are going to need cardstock paper or a heavy duty paper and a tray to put it on. So what you are going to do is take your cup. You're going to take a spoon and put a spoonful of the baking soda and put it inside the cup like this. Then you are going to take your watercolor or food coloring and squirt as much as you like. The more you put in, the more vibrant it will be. Then you're going to take your paintbrush and mix it around. You can see it's still like clumpy. So that's where the water comes in. You're going to put a little bit of water, not too much because we want to make it like a paste so that we can paint it on the paper. So it looks like this. And I have all my colors out and ready. So now we're going to take our paper and our tray and I'm just going to take my mixture. I have blue, green, purple, yellow, and orange to use. And like I said, you could do as many colors as you want. You don't have to do all the colors I do. And I am just going to do a design on the paper. You could do whatever designs you want using whatever colors. Just try to get the whole paper with color on it, okay? Because it's going to do something really awesome. So you want to make sure that there's really no white left behind. So that's why I'm trying to do the whole paper with all of my colors. You can make a flower if you want. You can make the sky and the grass. You can do maybe your name and then do some designs around it. Like I said, it's all up to you on how you want to do your design. I'm just making a random design with random colors. And I can't wait to see what happens. Do you know what we're going to do with the white vinegar? Yes, we are going to use the pipette to drop it onto the paper. What do you think is going to happen when we put it on the paper? Well, if you've ever seen the experiments where you take the baking soda and you put it on a tray or in muffin tins and then you drop it on, what happens? It's like an explosion, right? So that is what we are hoping for when we do this. We're, we're, we are hopefully going to see it bubble up. So now my whole paper is covered. So now I'm going to take the white vinegar and put some in my pipette or dropper and I'm going to drop it and watch what happens. You see it bubbling up and as it bubbles up, the colors will start to mix together and then you could see the reactions of the baking soda and vinegar. Isn't this a neat project? And then of course you're going to have to let it dry maybe for a day or two, depending on how much vinegar you put on it to see the reactions. Try to do as much as possible because like I said, the colors mix together and it makes it really, really cool. And you could keep doing it, and as you do it, some of the color will disappear. And then, after it dries, it will look like this. And you can hang it up, or give it to somebody, or even draw on top of it. it wouldn't that be a nice letter to send to somebody? Saying, you made the paper, and then writing something on it, or drawing maybe now a flower on it. 
I hope you enjoy doing this craft as much as I did, and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye!